All right, what's up guys? Now on today's video, this is a raw message. I know it's Monday and I feel like I need to come on here and talk about something that it's been on my mind. I've gotten a ton of messages over the last three or four weeks. I know a lot of coaches are scared. They're panicked. A lot of people have folded their business. They, they're trying to go find new work, um, which is very difficult to do. Um, and there's this big mindset right now of scarcity. And I would say, you know, if you watch the news and, and you are thinking negatively, that should be a normal thought. You should be scarcity minded because you're not thinking about controlling the situation. You're letting the situation control you. And that's a tough spot to be in, whether you are in business or you're trying to start a business right now, or you had a successful business a month ago and Right now you're scrambling, you're trying to figure things out. But what I'll tell you is the majority of people who are scrambling right now, they're in that spot because they don't have the fundamentals of business down. They didn't consider going through the fundamentals before they started their business. And they're doing things that are very like it makes your business very easy to break if something like this were to happen or let's say your clients were out of town for a month like whether the you know the virus epidemic whatever you want to call it happened or not there could have easily been something else that would tear a lot of business owners business apart and that's because People, a lot of businesses do not focus on the fundamentals. They're not focusing on marketing. They're not focusing on sales. They're focused on all of the other stuff that simply doesn't matter at the beginning. And it's funny though, because I've seen a lot of people on the other side of the fence who are just fine. They're, they're running their business as usual because they're thinking positive. They're thinking, okay, this happened. Great. Now I'm going to do this. They're not considering, they're not pondering. They're not taking six weeks to figure it out. They're diving in. And this is something that you can do. And one of the arguments I've seen is, well, you know, if my business isn't making money right now, I should go get a new job. Well, how are you going to go do that? Your business should be your job. Your business is the thing that gives you all of the opportunity in the future. But most people don't look at it that way. And it's, I don't want to say it's sad to see, but a lot of people have given up. And I made a video about this in our mastermind. This was like over three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago. I talked about people who give up right now, it gives you more opportunity to succeed in the future. Right? And I'll give you a great example because my training business was built on the right foundation. The next six months, 12 months, my competitors who were in my space, in my, in my city, their business wasn't built on the right foundation. So they're all doing nothing right now, nothing set up. So what's going to happen to them? Well, I'm probably going to swallow up every single one of their clients and I don't feel bad about that because I'm still operating. I'm not going away. I'm not hiding behind the rock. And those are choices they've made. And that's because they didn't have the foundation right. Now, let me, let me explain what was the right foundation. Well, that means you're running it like an actual business, not like a trainer, not like a coach. I've said this at nauseum since I started this channel, but a lot of people who avoided trying to set things up the right way or trying to set up billing. There's a lot of people who, who set up 
band-aids on their business and right now they're bleeding. Massive cuts. And if you don't have the foundation set up, then it's very easy when something like this happens that you'll just vanish, you'll go away. If you think about, you know, well, how do I set up the right foundation? You know, what, what can I be doing to improve things right now? First off, it, if you have time, which everyone does, go through some of our YouTube videos. I've already given you solutions over the last, I would say the last month. Go look at all of our videos, watch them from A to Z, and just go do, go do it. And I know for me personally, I'm gonna do my part to make sure I can help you, but you have to do your part and take action. I can't force you to do that. I know with coaches that are on our program, there's, there's more skin in the game because they're investing money. So they take it more serious. That's, that's how life works. When you invest money, when you have skin in the game, you're gonna ultimately gonna take life more serious. There's more urgency. You got something on the line there. And I wanna call out some people here that I've gotten emails, I've gotten texts, I've gotten Instagram messages that are deciding not to start their business or deciding to fold what they're doing because of the situation. And here's a question you have to ask yourself, All right? It's really two questions. Number one, do I want to work for somebody else? Yes or no? You can't say, well, no, I don't want to work for someone else, but I don't want to start a business either. It's clear. Do you want to work for someone else? Do you want to be uh, submitting to a boss? Do you want to be uh, waking up at a certain time, wearing certain clothes, going to the office at a certain time? Do you want to be told what to do all day? Yes or no? You have to be clear on that. Number two, all right? Do you want to be the best at what you do? Yes or no? If the answer is no, probably shouldn't start a business. If the answer is yes, that means, that means you're looking to do this for a long period of time. And when something like this happens again, like because you have the right foundation and you're in it to win it, I talked about that on Friday's video, then you will know that stuff like this is just part of the game. Right? So consider that. Do you want to work for someone? Yes or no? Most people, if I, if I ask them that, they'll tell me, no, they don't want to work for someone, but they're not willing to do the work to not have to work for that person anymore. That's straight up facts. I know for me, that this is my mindset. I don't want to work for someone so bad, right? that I will be willing to do whatever it takes. I don't care what I have to do, as long as it's legal to survive. All right? I'll sell everything I have. I'll get rid, get rid of everything. Um, I'll go sell water on, on, the, on the highway. <laughs> I don't care what I have to do. But that's my urgency that I have. Most people don't think that way. Most people are... are expecting to fail with their business. So then they just go back and, and work for Papa. All right. So you have to change the way you think about yourself and you have to be firm on that. And I'm the type of person that like, I know what I want. I know that I am so afraid of having to work for someone that I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make sure that doesn't happen. And I've done that. I have a proven track record. I had started multiple businesses. And that's because I don't want to go back to that life. I know what that life was like for me. I was anxious. I hated waking up in the morning. I hated working for somebody else. I hated being told what to do. I hated having structure. 
from, from somebody else that was giving me structure. I hated that. I hated driving to work. I hated being stuck in traffic. I mean, I could go down the list. I hated being told when to go eat, when I could go like to the bathroom. Right. So these are decisions you have to make. And this is why I, I really do feel this people who start a business right now, if you're a coach that's watching this or a personal trainer by starting a business right now, that's telling me you're going to be able to get through anything. That's telling me you have a lot of guts by going deeper and grinding it out right now and doing more than what you've been doing. If you, if you have a business, it's showing me that you're in here, you're in this for the long haul. You're not like one of those people that's in my area that has really tightened up and, and they're like, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait it out. I'll tell you right now, guys, like I've never been in more attack mode in my life with my business. And I started my business back in 2009. That was probably one of the, one of the worst times to start a business. If, if you had to ask someone that was in that recession, right? So I've already been through this bull crap. I already know how it works. And this is going to test you mentally with what you're doing. But I know for me, I've already answered those two questions. Do I want to work for somebody? No. Do I want to be the best at what I do? Absolutely. Those are crystal clear for me. And so I challenge you. Ask yourself those two questions. When you, when you can legitimately look yourself in the mirror and commit to yourself that I'm going to do this no, no matter what, and I'm going to be the best at this no matter what. And even if I start at the very bottom, I know that daily I'm going to just see a small little improvement. And when you do that, you would be shocked with what you can accomplish in 12 months. And that's the way I look at our mastermind program. Coaches that join our program 12 months later, if they put the freaking work in like how I expect them, they should see massive differences. I mean, we, there was a guy uh, in August of 2018 who was making $3,000 a month. 15 months later, he's making $20,000 a month. Right? Was that lucky? No. Did he work his ass off? Absolutely. Was he freaking committed? Yes. Did he question anything? No. He woke up on a mission and he did the work. All right. And I know this is a, a more of a blunt message and I don't care if there's a million people who watch this. I know the right coaches, the right business owners are going to resonate with this. And they're going to realize, you know what, right now, this situation is, is something that can either control me or I can control it. Right. Like you can watch CNN all day and be ready for Trump's like daily press conference every day and then be complaining after that. Or you could be watching Netflix all day. Uh, like it, you determine the choices <laughs> that you make and the facts are, where you are in your life right now, it's a collection of all the decisions you've made. So if you're working for someone, you've decided to do that. If you have a business, you've decided to do that. If you have a successful business, you've decided to do that. If your business is broke right now, you have decided that. Like no one is doing that to you. Okay. Where you're at is based off of the decisions you have made in the past. All right. That's it guys. There's nothing else I need to say about that. Um, and just know if you're, if you're wanting the right foundation with business, go through our videos, go like invest in yourself, go, go check out our ebook, check out our mastermind program. Like our stuff works <laughs> flat out. If it didn't work. I wouldn't be making so much content. I wouldn't have given away so much free content if I didn't believe on the other side of that, that we would be able to help coaches get results. And I know you're probably not going to find another person on YouTube that's more committed than I am to put out content with something that's this specific about helping coaches. All right.
that's it guys. Hopefully this helps. Um, if you're like, Oh, that sucks. Ben, Ben's too mean. Just unsubscribe from my channel. Like I'm not going to help you. Uh, if you've been watching our videos and you're like, Oh, these are some great ideas and you're not acting on it. Guys, like the fundamentals is learn, implement, tweak, learn, implement, tweak, do that daily. And you get results. Like it's unbelievable what happens when you take a little bit of action. And then from there, what happens is because you take action, you start to see results and in your brain, you become more confident. And then you're like, wow, this is working. I should keep doing this. What most people do though, is they get distracted. They're like, Oh, that's working. Now I'm gonna get distracted. Distraction is the, the enemy. And that, that, Distraction is killing a lot of people right now because they're trying to find other ways to get a job or other ways to make money and it's just not going to work. So you should be honing in on your business. If you have one, if you don't have one, you should be looking to start one right now and ask yourself those questions. I mean, straight up, do you want to work for someone? Do you want to be the best? If you don't, if you want to work for daddy, then like get the F out of here. <laughs> right. Do you want to work for Papa? I'm not your guy. If you don't want to be the best in your area, I'm not your guy. Right? I resonate with coaches who want to be at the top. They want to dominate. They want to look at their competitors and be like, dude, are you kidding me with this guy? I'm going to roast these, these fools. All right? And they are certain, the, the coaches I work with are certain they don't want to work for anyone. All right, that's it.